Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. I'm Zui Mama, and today we've got a little treat for you because guess what we're doing? We're doing the Piglin Brute, and it's a mob that I pretty much got scared of building a long time ago, so I didn't end up building it. Um, but yeah, I finally got around to making a tutorial on it. So here it is, Void's Glory, the Piglin Brute, and um, I think he looks absolutely fantastic, actually. I quite like how he turned out. Um, without further ado, let's get onto the blocks and colours and build this baby, shall we? The blocks and colours you need for this build are quite extensive as you can see so I do apologise if some of these I've miscounted because I've got count always by hand alright so and it takes me a while so I probably have miscounted quite a few of this wood for instance. So starting things off 456 stripped wood, 71 terracotta, 42 stripped acacia wood, 4 pink terracotta, 4 red terracotta, 2 red nether brick, nine smooth sandstone, four snow blocks, 33 brown terracotta, brown concrete, 24, 21 brown wool, 94 gray concrete, 23 cyan terracotta, four light gray terracotta, 67 polished black stone bricks, 105 black concrete, 23 yellow wool, 29 yellow terracotta, 11 yellow concrete, seven green terracotta and eight lime terracotta and again I might have miscounted a few so make sure you have a few extras just in case. So starting off with the feet we're going to do grey concrete followed by a cyan terracotta, black concrete, two grey concrete, then a black concrete, cyan terracotta and then a grey concrete on the end that's the base of our feet complete. Now switch to your stripped jungle wood and we're going to do a row all the way across the base of that. Then from the left hand side get your terracotta, we're going to go one, two, three, like a little L shape, leave a two block gap and then place another two, three like that, another L shape. Then go back to this left hand side one, do stripped acacia and then on top of that is going to be a pink terracotta. Now all I need you to do now is get your stripped jungle wood again, on top of that pink terracotta we're going to go one, two and we're going to make like a little rectangle here so we're going to just link that up to this corner as well. And then all you can do is fill all that in with jungle wood. Now from the top left hand side get your green terracotta. We're going to go do green terracotta, lime terracotta and then we'll go back to green. Another jungle wood. Then go back to green terracotta. Two lime terracotta and then another jungle wood on the end. Then from the top left hand side again we're going to go cyan terracotta. Followed by some grey concrete this time. So we're going to go one, two, three, four like a little T shape. Go back to your cyan terracotta and we're going to do like an S shape, so one, two, three, four, like a little S. Then go back to your um, grey concrete and go one, two, three, four, five this time with a cyan terracotta just there. Finish it off with a little lime terracotta like that. There we go. Then on the next row on the top left hand side we're going to get our polished blackstone bricks this time. One, two, three and pop in one just there. Then come back down, we're going to do two grey concrete just there, followed by a black stone again, one, two, three, and pop in one on the left there. And now just switch to your black concrete, and we're just going to go black concrete there, and then all the way through here, and then also there as well, looking good. Okay, the next row up on the left hand side, we're going to get our black stone brick again, we're going to place one there, go back to our black concrete, then go back to our grey concrete this time, followed by another brick. And then go back with black concrete, one, two. Then go back to our grey, um, sorry, grey concrete, one, two. And then we're going to overhang the side of the um, body now, either side on this row, okay? So we've done two grey, and then we're going to do another grey, a black concrete, a cyan terracotta, and a grey concrete. So that should be overhanging the right-hand side by four blocks. That's where his arm is going to be. And we're going to do the same on this side. So with the grey concrete, black concrete, cyan terracotta and then also a grey concrete on the end and again should have four blocks overhanging because his two arms will be going there very shortly. <clears throat> so now we've got the base of our arms ready what we're going to do is work on the left hand side arm first so what we're going to do is get our stripped jungle wood and we're going to go from the left hand side go up by seven so one two three four five six seven and then also the row next to that is going to be seven as well so we can fill that all the way to the top. And then these next two rows are going to be up by six. So we're going to bring that all the way up by six blocks and do the same on this one by six. So you should have something looking like that. Now switch to your black concrete and we're just going to go one, two, 
do a row across the top. Okay, on this right hand side we're going to do another one, two and then three. Switch to your black stone bricks and we're going to go one, two, go up, one, two and then one there. And then all you're going to do is get your grey concrete and you're going to go one, two, three and pop in one there. So that's the left hand side arm. Okay, on the right hand side arm what I want you to do is get your stripped jungle wood and above this, um, what's that, grey concrete there. Above that we're going to do one, two, three with the jungle wood and then do two like that. Then on this right hand side, get a yellow terracotta. I'm going to go one there, one there. Next to that is going to be a yellow concrete. And then above that, a yellow terracotta. Then to the left, a yellow concrete. Then above that, you're going to go with your yellow wool, place two. Above that is going to be yellow terracotta, you can place two of them. Then on the left hand side, yellow concrete with a yellow wool on the right. On the left hand side, a yellow terracotta followed by a yellow concrete on the right. And there we go, it should be looking like that so far. Now on the bottom left here, just above the um, the wood that we placed earlier on, we're going to do a brown concrete, um, a brown concrete, with a brown terracotta next to it. Above that, two stripped jungle wood. Then again, repeat the process: a brown concrete and a brown terracotta. Then above that, you can do stripped jungle wood again. Then switch to your black concrete. We're going to do one, two, and then we do a strip across the top again. On this right hand side this time I'm going to do one, two and then go up by one. Switch to your black polished blackstone bricks. Do one, two and come up, one, two and then one there and then finish off grey concrete. Pop in one on the right and then do one, two, three. There we go and there's the right hand side arm complete. Okay, so finishing off the torso, on the bottom left hand side just above this blackstone brick here we're going to do a black concrete followed by a grey concrete. Next is going to be a yellow wool, followed by some yellow terracotta. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then come up by one. Then above that, we're going to do one, two, three with a yellow wool. Then to the left of that is going to be yellow terracotta, followed by a yellow wool. And this time we're going to actually place some snow. So we're going to go one, two, coming downwards. So we're going to do like that, that sort of ring. And then below that is going to be a yellow wool and then another yellow terracotta, like so. While the yellow ter terracotta is in the hand, you can just place a yellow terracotta to the left there and also a yellow wool on top of that. Then next to that, you can place two brown terracotta. And then again, keep coming across, two more brown terracotta. Then get your black concrete out and you can go one, two, three, four to fill up the inside of that ring. Then to the right hand side, on the bottom left here, we're going to do a black concrete followed by a grey concrete. Above that, we're going to get our brown terracotta. We're going to go one, two, three, with a yellow terracotta to the right, and also above that is going to be yellow wool. And then to the left of that is going to be a black concrete. Above that, you can get your polished blackstone bricks. Go one, two, three. To the left of that, you're going to do grey concrete. Your blackstone bricks again, one, two, three, four, with another grey concrete and then another blackstone brick on the end and this little square here is all going to be black concrete there we go so you should have something looking like that so far okay going back up to the left hand side of the build now so what we're going to do is get our um, brown wall out and we're going to go one two next to that is actually going to be some more gray concrete so we're going to go one two three four brown concrete and then a brown wall on the end above that is going to be another brown concrete Followed by some more brown wool, we're going to go one, two, and then we're going to go one, two, three, like so. Drop back down on the left hand side, it's going to be a jungle wood with some more brown wool, you can go all the way across. Come up from there, it's going to be a brown concrete, followed by another brown wool. And then we're going to whack in a brown terracotta, followed by some more brown jungle wood, sorry, brown jungle wood, I mean strip jungle wood, place two. Then come back to that left hand side again, we're actually going to get our brown terracotta out, we're going to go one, two upwards, followed by another brown concrete. Then go back to our jungle wood, we're going to go one, two, three this time, followed by another brown terracotta, a brown concrete, and then a brown terracotta, we're going to go one, two, three. To the left of that this time, we're going to do a brown terra, sorry, a terracotta, <laughs> followed by two more jungle wood, and then finish it off with two more terracotta if I can place it there we go should have something looking like that 
Okay, now we've done the front of the build, what we can do is work on the legs. So spin around to the bottom left hand side of the build. And what we can do is get your grey concrete, go one, two, three. So this should be four blocks wide in total. Now all we can do is get our stripped jungle wood. And if you come up to where this green is here, we're just going to do two jungle wood. And then followed by another green terracotta on the end. And everything in between here now can actually be filled in with jungle wood. So I'll catch up with you in a second when you filled all this in. There we go, now we've filled that in. What we're gonna do is just finish it off. So on top of this left-hand side, the green here, we're gonna do cyan terracotta, followed by some gray concrete, one, two, and then do a strip across the top there as well. Then get your polished black stone and go one, two, three, and then finish it off with some black concrete, one, two, three, and there's one leg complete. Now spin on around to the right-hand side, and we're pretty much gonna replicate um, similar to what we've already done so again we're going to go with our grey concrete one two three across the base there and this time if you come up to where our green uh, sorry lime terracotta is we're actually going to do um, some grey concrete next to that so two grey concrete and then finish it with a green terracotta and also a lime terracotta below that and everything in between that now can be filled in with stripped jungle wood so we'll just do that and I'll catch up with you in a second Okay, now we've got to the top, what we're going to do is get our grey concrete and again we're going to do a strip across there with our polished black stone, a strip across there and then also with our black concrete, again a strip across there and there we go, there's the other side of the other leg complete, there we go, looking good. Now spinning on around to the right hand side of the arm, we're going to build the side of the arm up now. So what we're going to do is from the base of here, again with the grey concrete, we're going to go one, two, three again, so it's four blocks wide. Then with our yellow terracotta, go one, two, three. Above that is going to be yellow wool, going to go one, two with a yellow concrete on the end. Sorry, that's not concrete, that's yellow concrete on the end. With another yellow concrete here, and then followed by two yellow terracotta. Then above this, on the left hand side, smooth sandstone, followed by two yellow wool. Above the sandstone is going to be yellow concrete, followed by two yellow terracotta. Then above the concrete is going to be two smooth sandstone. Switch to your yellow wall, go one, two, one on the left there, and then yellow concrete on the right. And then above this is going to be two yellow terracotta. Finish it off with some black concrete, one, two, three, four across the top there. Above that is going to be smooth, uh, I'll say smooth, it's not, it's polished blackstone brick, one, two, three. And then top it off with a little bit of grey gray concrete, one, two, three. So you should have some looking a little bit like that so far. And while we're here, what we're going to do is just do the sort of shoulder parts. So what we're going to do is just peek over the top here, and then you're going to do a, a black stone there, and then uh, just next to this one, well, where the, blah, 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 I can't speak words out. <laughs> then what we're going to do is cyan terracotta there, and cyan terracotta there, with another two black stone, one there and one there. With the grey concrete, just put one there, and that's it. I can't speak words out today. What's going on there is he should have like a little rectangle like that on top of the sort of arm, which is his shoulder area. What we're going to do now is now we've done that one arm, we're going to spin on right, 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 round. And we're going to pretty much do a similar sort of thing on this side. So starting from the base of the other arm, this time we're going to do a grey concrete followed by two black concrete. And then what I want you to do, this bit is quite simple. All you're going to do is get the jung jungle wood and we're going to do it up to this black line. So you can do jungle wood here, one, two, three. Fill that all in nicely like that. And I'll catch up with you in a second. There we go. Now we've done that, we're going to get with black concrete and we're going to do a row across the top. And then do two there. And then come up on the left hand side by two. And then what you can do is get your black stone bricks. We're going to place one there. And then one, two there. And then this is going to be like a little square of grey concrete. And there you go, there's our next arm complete. And again, while we're here, we're just going to peek over the top of this and do this sort of shoulder area. So what I want you to do is in this corner here, you can pop in a cyan terracotta, followed by blackstone brick, one, two there. A cyan terracotta is going to go just there as well, with a grey concrete next to that there, and another blackstone brick there. There we go. Okay, now we've done the front and the two sides. What we can do is drop in to the back, and it looks a bit funky like this. We're going to do the back side of the build now, okay? 
what we're going to do, we're going to work on this sort of the, the waist area first, the legs and the waist, and then we'll work on the rest of the torso. So drop all the way back down, and we've already got our first block placed. So next to that is going to be a cyan terracotta, followed by a black concrete, and then you've probably guessed it, grey concrete, grey concrete, black concrete, and then a cyan terracotta, which is the same as the front there. Now what we want you to do is grab your jungle wood and do a row all the way across the base there. On this left hand side, get your terracotta out, place one and then two jungle wood, uh, stripped acacia wood, sorry, above that. Then come to the right hand side and we're going to just place a jungle wood just there. And we're going to place a acacia wood there and there, followed by a terracotta. So we've got like two L sort of shapes. And then all we're going to do is up until you get to this green area, you can fill this all in with jungle wood, which is not there. <laughs> Everything below this is going to be jungle wood, okay? So we'll fill this in and I'll catch up with you in a second. There we go. So you should have something looking like that. Now from this green area, what we're going to do is use our green terracotta. We're going to place one there. Next to that is going to be two lime terracotta followed by another jungle wood, a green terracotta, followed by another lime terracotta. Then going up from here, what we're gonna do is switch to our gray concrete. We're gonna go one, two, and then do one to the left as well, like a little T. Then switch your cyan terracotta, we're gonna do like a little zigzag, one, two, three, four, like that, like a little Z. Then switch to your gray concrete, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, connect it to that side, and that little block there is going to be a cyan terracotta to finish that section off. Then on the left hand side here, what I want you to do is grab your polished blackstone brick. You do one, two there, one, two on that side. And the two blocks in the center is going to be grey concrete. Then come up to the left hand side again with our black concrete. We're going to do one with another blackstone brick. Get our black concrete back out and go one, two, three. And then finish it off with another blackstone brick. And there we go. There's our leg section complete. So moving on up, we're going to do the back of the torso now. So we're going to do some sections. I'm going to work on the, the sort of left-hand side arm first. And then we'll move on to the rest of it, okay? So from the left-hand side arm, what we're going to do is get our black concrete at this time. And we're going to go one, two, three. And that should bridge that gap nicely. Then above this, we're going to get our stripped jungle wood. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Then on the left of this, we're going to do a um, yellow terracotta. Come up from there, it's going to be a yellow concrete, followed by a brown terracotta and a brown concrete. Above that is going to be stripped jungle wood. We're going to go one, two, followed by another yellow wool. Above that is going to be a yellow terracotta, followed by another brown terracotta and a brown concrete. Above that is going to be stripped wood again with another yellow concrete. And then above that is going to be yellow terracotta followed by two black concrete. And then what we're going to do is do another row of black concrete. And then pop in one on the left there. And do another two across. In fact, we're just going to fill this all in with black. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> just, fill, just fill everything else up with black. I don't know what, what, what I was going through my head there. And there we go. That's the one arm complete. Now we've done this left arm. The right arm is pretty much similar to that. So what we're going to do is, from the top, I'm just going to mark this off so we don't get confused. So your black concrete place one, and we're actually going to place a jungle wood below that, and then place another two black concrete next to that. So we've got like a little step of black concrete. Come back down to the bottom, and what we're going to do is get black concrete, do one, two, with a grey concrete on the end. And all you can do now is, up to that point, you can fill in with stripped jungle wood. And I'll catch up with you in a second. So now we've done that. Um, let's work on this little section here. So all you're going to do is get your black concrete. Um, in fact, no, I'd say this, go to the top. Do a grey concrete next, and then underneath that is going to be a stripped black stone brick. I keep saying stripped, it's polished black stone brick. And everything else in between can now be filled in with black concrete. There we go, looking good. There's the back of the arm. Now let's work on the back of the torso. Swoop on down onto the left-hand side of the build now. What we're going to do is above the black concrete, we're going to go with our, our grey concrete, do one, two, three, like a little L shape. Next to that, on the right-hand side, we're going to go black concrete, we're going to go one, two, followed by a brick. Then we're going to go with our grey concrete again, followed by a black concrete, and then one of those bricky things there. Above that, we might as well carry on. We're going to go with a 
black concrete, I can't spin words out, a grey concrete, a cyan terracotta, then a black concrete, and then two of those bricky things, and then go with another black concrete. Then we're going to work onto the belt section. So from the left hand side what we're going to do is get our brown concrete out. We're going to go one, two, three like a little L shape. Then below that is going to be a brown terracotta. Then to the left we're going to do a yellow terracotta with a yellow wall on top of that. Then go back to our brown terracotta again. One, two, three little L shape with a brown concrete in that spot there. Then again switch back to your yellow terracotta with a yellow wall on top of that. Again, another two brown terracotta, follow, follow, uh, finish it off with two brown concrete, and there's the belt section complete. Now, on this left-hand side, what I want you to do is get your black concrete, and we're going to do two black concrete, followed by a black stone brick, a black concrete, two more black stone bricks, and then two black concrete. And then from here, go upwards, and we're going to do two black stone bricks with one, like a little L shape. To the left of that, we're going to go with our grey concrete, one, two, a black stone brick, a grey concrete, a black stone brick again, and also a grey concrete on the end. Above that is another black stone brick. Oh, if I could place it. And then we're going to do grey concrete. One, two, three, four, with a black stone brick and another grey concrete. Then up on this right hand side, we're going to go with our brown terracotta. Do one, two. To the bottom left of that, we're going to do yellow wool with a yellow terracotta followed by two more grey concrete, a yellow concrete, a yellow wool, and then what we're going to do is switch to our brown concrete, do one, two vertically. Then to the right of that, you're going to do a brown wool with a brown concrete, another brown wool, another brown concrete, then two more brown wool. Above this block on the right-hand side, we're going to do brown concrete, do two, a brown terracotta, Followed by another brown concrete, another brown terracotta. So lots of switching blocks here, isn't it? And then brown wool, one, two, three. And you can pop in one on the top left there as well. Switch back to your brown terracotta. We do one there and then one up there. Switch to your terracotta. We do one there and then one diagonal to that as well. Switch to your jungle wood. We're going to go one, two, three. And then one to the right as well. Switch back to your terracotta. Do one, two. Back to your brown concrete, one there and one there, and then finish it off with some brown terracotta. One, two, three, boom. Phew, that took a long time. <laughs> there we go. There's the front and the back and the sides of this build all complete. Let's spin on round to the front, get us some orientation, and work on the head section of the build. So what we're going to do now is work on the head. So from the left-hand side of the build, um, we're going to be working... Um, so we're going to come three blocks in and we're working above this area here So what I want you to do is use your stripped wood jungle wood and place one there And we're just going to bring it out by one and then put a acacia wood on the end So you should be overhanging the front of the build by two Okay, so starting from this point here. We're going to do so stripped acacia jungle wood two more stripped acacia and then we're going to go with our terracotta go one two three four Okay, so you should have something looking like that. Two blocks overhanging the front and two blocks overhanging the back of the build. And now we've got our baseline, let's work on the side of the head. So with the terracotta still in the hand, we're going to go from the left hand side here. We're going to go one, two, three. Come up and go one, two. So we've got like a sort of staircase pattern going on. Then switch to your stripped acacia wood. And we're going to pop one there, one there. And then we're going to go one, two. And then come up by two on the left hand side as well. There we go. Now with our stripped jungle wood, what we want to do is get that, and we're going to do from the bottom here, we're going to do stripped jungle wood all the way across. Go up a layer, stripped jungle wood all the way across again. From the left hand side, do two stripped jungle wood, then switch to your terracotta and go one, two, and then two stripped jungle wood on the end. With the terracotta again, from this point here, we're going to go one, two upwards. Next to that is going to be two light grey terracotta. And then two um, terracotta again. And then what you can do is just switch back to your jungle wood. And we're going to go fill this two in on the end there. And then fill this little square in as well. And then what we're going to do is come up by two, one, two. And then all we're going to do is fill that all in with jungle wood all the way up to that point. There we go. And there's the side of the head done. 
Okay, now we've done the side of the head, what we want to do is where the light grey terracotta is at the top here, this is like the ear area, what we want to do is do um, a strip of jungle wood, one, two, three, four across, okay? And then what we want you to do is make it come out by a further one, so it's sort of diagonal from that block. And then we're going to bring that across as well, and then go down by two, like so. So and you can see what we're doing, we're trying to make an ear here. So we've got uh, a row of one, and then a row of two, and then again come out diagonal again by two, and you can come across by four as well in total. There we go, so you should have something looking like that. So again, it's one step down with two blocks and then step down with another two blocks and they're only four blocks wide the ears are okay i hope that was easy to explain and then what we're going to do now is literally replicate the exact same thing onto this side so spin on round 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 on this side of the shoulder we're going to look across and we're going to just copy what we've done so acacia wood there and there with a jungle wood and then acacia wood just there finish it off with some terracotta one two three four and all you're going to do now is literally um, look across you can see what we've already done and just copy that onto this side of the build okay so it's very straightforward and simple and um, for anyone new it's around here what me and my fellow subscribers like to do is I like to have like a little race from time to time just to see who's the quickest at building just for a bit of fun okay so what we're going to do is if you want to follow along go for it if you don't i'll meet up with you shortly in the video okay so if you do want to race let's get to it in three two one go okay this should be dare i say it fairly simple to do because i mean it's just a couple of blocks right but we'll see because i still make a lot of mistakes and for anyone that's new around here you can probably hear my controller being frantically smashed in the background that's because i'm trying to rush and i don't do any edits on these sections i generally do it um first time with no cuts or no edits just to make things a little bit fair because i don't want to be cheating um it's just a genuine race between me and you and here we go oh i think i'm, I'm gonna <laughs> i'm messing up a little bit here oh, i think i've messed up what am i, do what am I doing what am I doing? I think I'm wrong tactics here. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm, my tactics on that one was really bad. Normally I have some sort of plan what I'm going to do, but um, I just sort of went for it. But there we go. We should have two sides of the head exactly the same. And we'll just whack on this ear now. So while we're here, stripped wood, remember. And we're going to do it above this light grey terracotta. So jungle wood, one, two, three, four. And then remember, we're going to step out diagonally by one, two. And then we're going to fill that in as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then again, go diagonal from that and do another two down and four across. If I can place the block properly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's looking cool. Now all we need to do is the front the side and the top of the head and we're all done. Okay, so spin on around to the back of the head. And what we want to do is get your terracotta out first of all. And from the base of the head, you can do two blocks and just fill that in all the way across. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Why am I saying one, two, three? It's one, two, one, two. <laughs> there we go. That should be filled in. So when you look up, it should be all terracotta and nicely filled in. Um, and now we've got the baseline complete. Let's um, carry on. So with the terracotta still in our hand, actually, we're going to go from this block here. Go one, two, three with a two stripped acacia wood there and there and then just finish off with another three terracotta on the end go back to your stripped acacia wood and we're going to go acacia wood acacia wood acacia wood acacia wood to that point there next to this on the left hand side two jungle wood and then go with your acacia wood again go one two while that's in the hand just pop in one there as well and fly all the way back to the other corner and you can just pop in one in that corner as well and all you're going to do now which is jungle wood is just literally fill it all the way in all the way to the top with jungle wood and while we're here with the jungle wood you might as well um the top of the head is all going to be jungle wood as well so you can bring that all the way towards the front of the build and we're going to work on the face very shortly as well so you can just fill that in i'll catch up with you in a second There we go, should have something looking like that. So first things first, what we want to do is get your stripped jungle wood and you're going to come on the inside of the build and just do stripped jungle wood all the way across to meet the other side. So then when you're looking up, it's a jungle wood rather than a big empty gap. Now we've done that, we're going to carry on working from this left hand side near this stripped acacia wood. So next to that, we're going to do a terracotta. Above that, you're going to stripped acacia wood, do one, two, and then to the right of that, do another stripped acacia wood. Above that is going to be a pink terracotta 
with a snow block. And then to the left and to the right is going to be a stripped acacia wood. And that's his eye section complete. This little block here can be a stripped jungle wood. While we're on the eye, you can come from where this stripped acacia wood is. You can do two jungle wood, one, two. And then do another stripped acacia wood with a snow block next to that. And then another stripped acacia wood. Above the snow block is going to be a pink terracotta followed by a red terracotta. And then below that again, a pink terracotta followed by a red terracotta. Then to the right of this terracotta, we're going to go with a stripped acacia wood. Do one, two, and then finish it off with a terracotta just in there as well. Now stripped jungle wood can go in there and you can fill in these gaps above where the eyes are as well, all the way across and all the way across there, which now leaves us this weird gap where the um, sort of nostril, nostrils, snout thing, yeah, thing's going to go, and horns, <laughs> right, okay, I don't know what I'm saying, right, so what we do is come to the left hand side, the bottom left, and you're going to come out by one block, um, place any old block there for the time being, and we're going to go with a sh smooth sandstone, above that is going to be another smooth sandstone, and to the right is going to be a smooth sandstone, then carry on with two terracotta, and then back to your sandstone again, do one, two, and then one there as well. Then for his nostrils, going to be red terracotta there and there. And above that, it's going to be a red nether brick there and there. Then go back to your stripped jungle wood. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. That should be looking really good by now. And then just underneath here, you can actually just get your jungle wood and just bring that all the way across as well, just to meet on the other side. And... I don't know about you, but there we go. That is a pigling brute, all complete. And like I said earlier on in the video, um, I pretend I like my grain of um, wood all going in one direction. So you can mess around with that to make it look a little bit more neater. But yeah, for the purpose of the video, I've just did it as it comes. But there we go, my <laughs> subscribers and whoever else is watching. That's uh, a pigling brute. So I um, hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Make sure you stick around for any more, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.